Go and get a, just take an each day at a time. Feel more comfortable on the right or the left? Um, I right know I'm just trying to get better at both. Um, just because I don't know where I'll be, so I'm just trying to get used to both. What's the biggest adjustment for you so far? Um, really just trying to put more responsibility on myself outside of the facility, um, whether it be trying to recover, watching extra film, and just things along those lines. Well, as we get to crazy camp so far, it seems like you guys have a little synergy with you. What's, what's that been like for you so far? Uh, I feel like I'm surrounded by great people on that O-line. Um, everyone pushes one another to get better each day. So, it's exciting. You said you watch a lot of, a lot of film. Have you always been a film hog? I mean, or, or what, what's the difference here? Yeah, just what I'm studying, really. Um, just for right now, it's camp, so I'm just trying to study the man more so than the actual scheme and uh, just like kind of things like that. Yeah, a lot of young guys always tell us that the, the difference is speed. Mm -hmm. Where you came from, do, you, do you notice the same, and how have you adjusted to this? Yeah, um, I mean, of course, there's going to be a difference in speed. You're going to college to a professional, so the people you're going to be going against naturally are going to be more talented. So uh, you just got to take it each day at a time, really, um, and try to learn what you need to work on. It's been a good situation for you to step in, having guys like Taylor there, obviously great guys that have been here a while, and you're not kind of thrust into it right away. Um, yeah, it's awesome having people that are very experienced and very talented to uh, kind of just teach you how to operate. Who are you on the offensive line? I mean, you know, what's the goal for you as you go through a training camp, get ready for a preseason, and obviously the regular season right away? Yeah, for a young guy, for it doesn't matter what position you are, uh, you kind of look at training camp as a way to get better each day and uh, just find different things and just work on one thing a day to improve on. You play multiple positions and move you all over the place out there. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, it um, doesn't matter where they put me. I'm just going to try to and uh, embrace it, really, and just work on it. Well, it's different inside than outside. You're just being the guy on the outside. What's the difference between those two things? I mean, really, each position is different. Left tackle is different from right tackle. Left guard is different from right guard. Um, it's kind of hard to narrow it down just to one specific thing, but for me, I, if they want to put me at guard or tackle or center, I'm just going to smile and try to do my best at it. Well, what is the yourself, biggest difference between the two tackles? You a plug-and-play player like that? Yeah, uh, you have to really be versatile if you want to be uh, kind of have more value, and uh, you just got to take it on as a challenge. What's, what, what is the biggest, what's the biggest difference between right tackle and left tackle? Is it footwork primarily? Um, what, 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 is the, what do you think is the biggest difference between the two positions? Um, I mean, they're both kind of tackling, both kind of doing similar things, but it's just your preference, um, what you're better at, what you're, and uh, I mean, ultimately, it's kind of hard to say what's truly different between the two. The draft, did it, uh, when your off-season workouts are coming here, did it, it felt shocking and all that part? Um, you talked a little bit about how we got you determined for this. Yeah, I mean, the draft was a couple months ago, so I just kind of, whatever, now I'm here, uh, I'm just ready to work. So at the time, it kind of just what happened. So uh, can't really do much about it, uh, except control what I can control, and that's my attitude each day. Talk about the recovery and the downtime. Obviously, you don't have class to worry about and things like that now. How are you kind of filling some of those hours to kind of be ready for the next morning? Um, really just trying to get my body right, get my mind right, and uh, just prepare myself to come out here and just try to get better. Mm -hmm. Is there any specific things you've picked up from some of the older guys that told you to you know, do this to be ready, that kind of thing? Um, a couple of things, but really just you got to find your own routine because everyone's unique. Thank <laughs> you.